So race seven. And we finally get our first race over Timber of the week. And it's the Per Temps Qualifier. Leg two of the Per Temps Qualifiers. It's a three mile 0 to 140 handicap hurdle. At the top we've got Zara Zeus or Patrick Hogan. Gadebridge, Darren Thompson. Third last ground clutchable. Wardorf Salad, Martin Lidden. Wolverine, Darren Thompson. Feel the fear, Craig Beckwith. Add insult to injury. Joshua Sutherland. Just a ride, Alex Cherry. Donks a kid. For Jim Harrison and Matt Cooper's got the bottom two. Olive Oil and Bon Nicardo. They're away and racing. And short run to the first. Wardorf Salad landed in the lead. Olive Oil landed just at the back. Do you have olive oil on your Wardorf Salad? That's the question. Answers on a postcard, please. As they head towards the second of the 13 fences. And it's Wardorf, not fences. They're flights of hurdles. They're passing the winning post then. And they'll swing left-handed and head out for two circuits still of the entry track in this three mile hurdle and the sharp witted amongst you would have realised that there are six flights of hurdles in a circuit an entry and one of the flights they jumped three times which is one they've jumped already which will be the final flight the third time they jump it, but it's Wardorf Salad who set himself off into a clear lead. Winner last week, novice hurdler winning on a flat last season. And with the big boys, the open horses this week, see if he can get himself into the per attempts final. Have the option of going into the three more novice hurdle. I can't remember what we call it. We call it the Albert Bartlett or the Spa. I can't remember. Anyway, he's a three more novice hurdle at Cheltenham. I think we call it the Albert Bartlett these days. It's Wardorf Salad in the lead anyway. From Olive Oil second. Olive Oil's come through from last, so obviously you need your Olive Oil, need your Wardorf Salad. Then comes Add Insult to Injury. Zara Zeus is next, then just a ride in Gadebridge. Don't account after that one. Towards the back. There's one out of shot. That's Feel the Fear just jumping into shot there. And quite well strung out. Wardorf Salad with his flat racing speed. And you're sitting a stiff old pace. Leads by three lengths or so to the Olive Oil second on the inside of that one. Add insult to injury. Zara Zeus is back in fourth. Then Gade Bridge with Dolce Camp next for Jim Harrison. Third less after that, then just a ride. Feel the field, Wolverine, and finally, Bulnacano has now dropped to the back. Well, it's Wolverine Salad, and he's bowling along in the lead. Skips over flight six, um, Olive Oil second. And add insult to injury, back in third. All over the seventh, which of course, Will be the last next time round. They'll come past the winning post shortly and then head out on a complete circuit. And the six flights all over again. There's the winning post and Waldorf Salad in the lead. Leading by four. So you add insult to injury second. Dolph's account has moved through into third just about there. There's about five or six of them in a line there as they take this turn. Ball the car now, the one. Right out the back, the one that lost the most ground on the turn there was third last in the second set of Grand Clutch Box colours on the blue with the red sleeves. But it's Wardorf Salad who's in the lead and heading towards the eighth flight. Leading by a good three to add insult to injury second. Gadebridge the grey has moved through into third. There's a line of three in fourth just around Zara Zeus. And on the inside, Olive Oil. And Donk's account has just lost his place a little bit. Feel the fear. He's creeping close around the outside. Third last is now going to try and go down the inside route as well. Wolverine towards the back. And Bornacano is the back marker. But Wardorf Salad is only two lengths in the lead now. To Gay Bridge. And just a ride as they get over the ninth. Just four more to take. And Wardorf Salad is continuing to lead. 
Oh, just a ride over the fourth last, just a really good jump there. Also on the outside, feel the fear and jump really well. And he's coming into it. Zara Zeus is now also being shook up for a bit of a run. The top weight, the grey Gainbridge is looking to get going. Had an insult to injury, has got the inside berth. And if he can get going, should be okay. But Wardour Tunner still seems to be going okay in the lead as they come down towards the third from home. Then Wardour Sun skips over the third last. He's clear of Feel the Fear and just a ride. Olive Oil, Zara Zeus. Add insult to injury. Gade Bridge. Darcy Cat trying to run on again, but Wardor Sands kicked for home and has suddenly gone five clear. Jockey had a little look round there, and it's Wardor Sands who's five lengths clear of Zara Zeus who's charging along in second. They race down towards the second last flight, then, and Wardor Sands is well clear in this per temps qualifier as they come down towards the second last flight. Wardor Sands is six clear of Zara Zeus in second. Over the second last, Wardor Sands does look like he's stopping. Zara Zeus is in second. Gade Bridge is trying to run on, so is an insult to injury and Wolverine coming down to the final flight and Wardor Sun skips over it, gets away from it, well he's full clear and insult to injury and Zara Zeus battling for second but the leader in there with half a furlong to go Wardor Sun starts to tread water a little bit Zara Zeus and an insult to injury and getting closer Wardor Sun needs a line to come here comes Zara Zeus, Wardor Sun Zara Zeus on the outside, it's close but I think Wardor Sun just held on Zara Zeus was getting closer. The angle is deceptive, so I wouldn't be putting a great deal of money on it. But I think that Waldor Salad just hung on to take it, and indeed he did. Waldor Salad takes it a quick fire double for Martin Leadham. Zara Zeus second for Padraig Hogan. Add insult to injury for Joshua Sutherland was third. Gade Ridge for Darren Thompson fourth, who also took fifth with Wolverine.